day everyone! I am Teacher Enrico. I am glad that you are here to listen and to learn. Now may I ask, can you still remember the previous lesson? That's right! We talked about the types of soil. Well, I guess you also observed that Everyone in the class talks about the types of soil. <laughs> anyway, look at this picture. Are you familiar with this image? Correct! These are planets. Today, we will talk about the planets of the solar system. At the end of this lesson, Students are expected to identify the planets of the solar system, explain information about the planets, and determine the position of the planets from the sun. Kids, brace yourselves as we're going in an adventure to our solar system. Let us first find out what is the solar system. Solar system is the collection of planets, moons, asteroids, comets, dust, and gas that orbit our local star, the Sun. This includes the eight planets and their moons, dwarf planets, countless asteroids, comets, and other small icy objects. Our solar system consists of eight planets which orbit around the sun. The eight planets, starting from the nearest to the sun, are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Do you know that these planets are divided into two groups? The inner planets and the outer planets. The first four planets are called the inner planets. They are near from the sun and made up of solid rock. They are also known as the terrestrial planets. The last four planets are called the outer planets. Unlike inner planets, outer planets are composed of gas and ice giants. They are also known as the Jovian planets. Now let's get to know more about each of the planets. The first planet is the Mercury. It is the nearest planet to the Sun and the smallest one. It is one of the terrestrial planets with a thin atmosphere composed mostly of oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium. Next is Venus. Venus has a thick atmosphere that traps heat in a runaway greenhouse effect, making it the hottest planet in the solar system. Because of its brightness, Venus can be seen in morning and evening and also known as the morning star or evening star. Like Mercury, Venus is also a terrestrial planet without moons. The third planet is my favorite one. This is where we live. Yes, the Earth. The Earth is also called the Blue Planet because it's covered with almost 70% water. Earth is the only planet where life is known to exist. It's a terrestrial planet with only one moon. With an atmosphere consisting of nitrogen, oxygen, minor amounts of argon, carbon dioxide, and neon. 
Next to Earth is Mars. Unlike other planets, Mars is reddish in color and also called as the red planet because of the large amount of iron oxide or rust in its rocks and soils. It is the fourth terrestrial planet with two moons and has a thin atmosphere made up mostly in carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and argon gases. Now, we're going to the outer planets. The fifth planet is Jupiter. It is the largest of all planets in the solar system. It is a gas giant with a thick layer of atmosphere composed mainly of hydrogen and helium. Jupiter has an iconic great red spot that has raged for hundreds of years. As enormous as it is, Jupiter has the most moons among all planets. It has 79 moons in total. Wow! Next to Jupiter is Saturn. Saturn is the second largest planet of the solar system. It is famous for its rings and also a gas giant. Like fellow gas giant Jupiter, Saturn has numerous moons and is a massive ball made mostly of hydrogen and helium. Did you know that these beautiful rings are made up of ice and dust? These were first observed with a telescope in 1610 by Galileo Galilei. The seventh planet is Uranus. Unlike Jupiter and Saturn, Uranus is an ice giant. Discovered with thick layer of gas and is the coldest planet with an average temperature of negative 220 degrees Celsius. Wow, that's so cold. Its atmosphere is mostly hydrogen, helium, and methane. Last but not the least, the eighth planet, Neptune. Neptune is the farthest planet from the sun. Like Uranus, Neptune is also an ice giant and has a dense fluid of icy materials. <laughs> there you go! Now you know the eight planets of the solar system. What did you observe? Are they all the same? You're right! They're the same at some points, but totally different in many aspects. They differ in size distance from the sun, composition, gases in the atmosphere, number of moons, and movement. Although at some points, they are somewhat similar. The inner planets are all made up of solid rocks. The outer planets are all ice and gas giants. They are the same in shape in they all orbit around the sun. Good job, kids! Now I prepared some questions for you to answer. Number 1. What planet is the nearest to the sun? Two. What planet has the biggest size in terms of actual diameter? 3. The third one, what makes Earth the most livable planet among the planets of the solar system? Number 4. What is the common characteristic among these planets?
Lastly, number five, how are the inner planets different from outer planets? Amazing! What a great adventure! I really hope that you learned something new today about the planets of the solar system. Don't forget to review our lesson! Okay, for your assignment, make a model of the solar system using recycled materials. It will be considered as your project for this quarter, okay? Do good! Again, I am Teacher Enrico. See you next meeting. Thank you. Goodbye.